All right, let's listen to the Travis Scott. Hyena, Utopia, let's go. Situation, it can stay the same. I'm driving through hell and I done brought snow. It's shining, trying to hear what you did, now you came close. Cause I get bobble head like I didn't poetic just as I got you in all my stances with your models. Where you shall go? See nose, be nose, I took the biggest boat. We still all that beg your pardon, we done lit up every set of total city party pack. I got it with me, I'm thinking I know about it. I know about it, I know about it. I have tasted the maggots in the mind of Damn, epic start to the record. Good start to the record. Very good start to the record. Very good start to the record. Very nice start. Between the B switches and the Mike Dean outro and the Travis verse, it was good. Very good intro. Hard hitting beat too. And you know, well, final moments sounded like sounded like we're transitioning into a utopia. It sounded like we're entering a utopia. Okay, nice. Let's continue on. That was a banger intro. It's a good start. Thank God. Mind and spirit feel like living in. Thank God I'm breathing. Thank God I'm breathing. We're still up top and still can't drop what they not. Where are we killing the critics and killing the hate? My God, when you flying. Uh, we don't need to do a poll. We're just straight listening through the record. The polls, are, the polls are to decide whether or not we finish the song not to decide whether or not you guys enjoy the song or not we don't give a fuck about that oh damn it's hard transition into a modern jam then um like that track too like that track too i mean there are some parts where i wish it you know kind of got a bit more explosive and everything but uh there were some good highs and lows was a dynamic cut Aesthetically, very textured, very diverse, uh, very eerie. Some yay production on that song. That's interesting. And um, yeah, just just an eerie kind of otherworldly sort of track. I, I don't really have anything too much more profound to say about, about it other than that. I'll need to hear it more. But um, you know, I'm liking some of the very kind of clunky percussive melodies throughout the track. It just sounds really heavy, really despondent. Just... Um, you know, it feels like I'm on a factory floor in like a very dark cave, something like that. I'm liking it. It's odd. All right, Modern Jam. Let's give this one a spin. Got two good cuts so far. Continuing through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Guy, Guy, uh, Guy Manuel helped produce this one from Daft Punk. That's Tizo. All right. Three tracks in. Um, I like that one too. I like that one too a lot. I'm not so much seeing... What people are saying is, oh, it feels like a Yeezus demo. I mean, I think the beat could have switched up a little bit, but I mean, outside of like the, wow, you know, like insane vocal shots here and there, um, I, you know, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really, you know, feeling like it's a Yeezus ripoff or anything. I mean, obviously there's similarities there, but it doesn't feel like a super derivative or anything like that. I mean, honestly, I'm just kind of happy that, um, you know, we're three tracks in and so far we have not heard a song that just kind of sounds like your typical run of the mill Travis Scott psych trap formula. I'm glad about that. I'm glad about that. It doesn't sound like, you know, a, a lesser version of something off rodeo. It doesn't sound like a bird's leftover. And, and, and that record just was nothing but rodeo leftovers. And it doesn't sound like, you know, just like a mere extension of Astroworld, you know, which is cool. You know, it's, I'm, I'm glad he's actually switching it up. 
five years later. Because if he came through with another record that just sounded like fucking Astro World, what the fuck would be the point? What the fuck would be the point? That 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 honestly was going to be my biggest disappointment potentially if he just made another record and it sounded like Astro World. At that point, I would have been like, "Fuck it," you know. I I would have been massively disappointed um, if he didn't switch up his sound at all five years later. Uh, but he is. He's switching up. He's doing some cool stuff. And and you know, it's a uh, it's risky. Like the you know that song is not a. It's it's a modern jam was a fun track. It's a fun, it's an interesting track, and there's some bold moments, uh, but it's it's not a super hooky track. It's not a super hooky, sugary commercial track. You know, it's it's daring of uh, Travis Scott, PlayStation Fortnite to to you know, kind of a, a pull into you know more of a dark kind of underworld sort of sound here. All right, let's give uh, my eyes a spin. I really like that Tizo feature too. That was fun. That was fun. Is that James on this track? Is is that James on here? Very romantic Minecraft interpolation. Oh, Boney Bear, Boney Bear, Boney. Got it, got it, got it. We can free the chat. Even though it's going to be insane and I'm not going to be able to read anything, but we can we can free the chat. All right, let's keep listening. All of that green and yellow that drip in your eyes is telling See as I see your people that ride me If they just that shit by the state of my ear I took it for zero The love they got me fucked up I put you on bus and take you around Here come a day in my eyes Don't blink Okay, geez I mean, you know I don't anticipate the record's going to be perfect. And I already know I'm not crazy about K-pop. And I did review Del Resto on the Fantano channel, and I was not crazy about it, honestly. Um, but with that being said, you know, we're four tracks in, and we're four for four so far. Uh, Love that track. Thought the transition was really good. Bon Iver bits were great. Travis rapping toward the end was really strong. Uh, intro, first leg, was really pretty. Really uh, really cool cut there. It's nice to hear Travis uh, still coming out with a great track, even when like going softer, you know, going more subtle. Because uh, that, that wasn't always the case on Astroworld. You know, it was really the harder cuts, the ones that were the most memorable. That was a low-key, beautiful, more nuanced cut that, uh, you know, was just as stunning as anything we've heard so far. Oh, let's hear God's Country. Somebody was really talking up the beat on this next one, so hopefully it's good. Only one ain't watching in. Yeah. Waking up, I see the light. You in God's country, not in Montgomery. Cause it's yours. The butterfly got him jumping with no hands. Yeah. Oh. Beat there was sick. Woozy. Really kind of had me feeling like I was in a trance. I mean, I wish it was kind of longer and developed a little bit more. Um, you know, but uh, but what was there was definitely uh, definitely super surreal. You know, and I'm, and I'm kind of liking that um, we're transitioning really smoothly into the next track. It's making the album feel like a bit of a holistic experience here, which again, cool. And there were notes of that on Astroworld for sure. All right, let's jump right into Sirens. It's already kind of, you know, Kind of already went there. And yeah, the camera's laggy. I apologize for it. But uh, uh, chat is giving cringe vibes. Well, well, that's your guys' fault. If the chat is being cringe, I, I can't do anything about the chat being cringe. Okay. There's certain words and behaviors that like, you know, we can ban and get rid of and, you know, sort of, uh, you know, uh, disincentivize. But, um, you know, if, if ch restrict chat, <laughs> if chat's being cringe, that's your guys' fault. It's chats being, if, if chat's being cringe, that's you. That's on you. Okay. All right. Um, 
but uh, you know, I'm liking the transition into Siren so far. Let's uh, let's continue forward. We'll we'll do it. Uh, hey, and and listen, you know, you guys are like, oh, do, do sub only chat. Da 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 da. I mean, sub only chat was asking for the chat to be free. This this was you, this is what you guys were asking for. You guys were asking for it. Put him back in jail. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, listen, we'll, we'll hear one more song. If you guys can't get your shit back, if you guys can't get your shit together, chat's going back in jail. If you guys can't get your shit together, all right? It's right back to jail. Get your shit together, okay? All right, let's listen to Sirens. If I see any shenanigans going on, any shenanigans going on, you're, you're instantly in jail, okay? The fuck? Whoa. Whoa. What makes you say this isn't Utopia? This is just your hotel room. It looks perfect to me. Okay, that's kind of a shitty outro, but with that being said, I like that track too. I, I feel, you know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. And there could be some switch ups um, later on the record where I change my mind. Uh, Meltdown, the next one's a Drake track. At least so far, no, you know, I'm seeing it in chat. I, I, I feel like so far a lot of the Yeezus comparisons are just boiling down to there being just some crazy screams and vocal bits here and they're like, ah! And like Kanye doesn't have a monopoly on crazy screams and rap music. If any audience should know that it's you guys, the drums too. I, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, I don't agree. I don't agree. Monopoly doesn't have Kanye doesn't have monopoly on the kind of drums on this on Jesus either. I mean, not that I think the album is whole, wholly unique and without influence from anything, but you know, you also have to kind of take into account that like Travis helped contribute to Jesus, you know? I mean, how much of that influence is actually just like him coming full circle because it's an album that he worked on, you know? Meh. All right. Um, but that track was good too. I also messed with that one. All right. Let's hear this Drake cut. Ba bam. Yeah. Dude, ten right now. Tensions is rising. Tea Spill some tea. Tea time, tea time, tea time. Tea time like I just yeah, like you love this American shit. But really the truth is it's scared. We airing the shit. She asking for bread for a pen with the wassels and Paris and shit. And they scared of the seven. Set the one I got the juice now, nah, it's heavy. Yo, is you fucking crazy? <laughs> is this Drake again? Is this Drake again? I, I feel like this is like like really on the same sicko mode formula. Like, oh, we're gonna have that B switch. The, then the Drake is coming back. It's not. It's not Drake again. Looking crazy. You baby, swinging in the pickup truck. Baby, fuck Mercedes. Now I let the chain say you gotta tuck your smoochie. Fucking crazy. Man, the club ain't been the same. She move her panties to the side. She crazy. Straight up. Hmm. It's a lot to take in with that track. Drake sounded kind of silly on the front end, but he threw out some shots. He's talking a lot of names. Talking, talking a lot of shit. Talking a lot of shit. And I'm surprised Travis doesn't get a whole lot of blowback from the shit that he lets Drake talk on his records. But either way, the beat, sw the beat switch ups were cool. Um, while I did like that, you know, fucking crazy refrain that Travis was bringing on the back end and everything. Um, you know, I, I wish he just had more standout bars in that portion of the song and everything. It, it was a cool progression, cool switch. I, I think it's a track that could grow on me, you know, even though there were like some 
that Willy Wonka bar was fucking whack and the Star Wars samples made no fucking sense. <laughs> no fucking sense. Like we're just throwing phasers out in every fucking direction. Um, but so with that being said, it was, it was a fun cut. It was a fun, it was a creative cut. It was a creative cut. All right. Let's hop into the next one. Fiend? Fun? Seems like you guys are uh, really into this one. There's a lot of excitement for this track. I hope it's a bot. Better be one of the best on the record if you guys are going insane. Oh, the, oh it's, a, the, uh, it's a rage track. We got Cardi in the mix. Vamps. Vamps are going crazy. Vamps are going insane in the chat. Vamps. The vamps are going nuts. Okay. Well, let's give it a spin. Ba-bam. What the fuck? What? What? Did it? Does balls drop? What the fuck? Is 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 this the new is this the new version of Cardi? Is this what the next record is going to be? Uh, that's that's the worst feature on the record so far. That that is the worst featured moment passage on the album so far. That's the worst one. That's the worst one. Uh. Okay, let's finish this track up. That's in my horse. That's in the drip of my horse. I got flows for day. These niggas ain't home. Nothing. Yeah. What the fuck? These niggas ain't like they know. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm sorry. That that feature kind of sucked. That feature kind of sucked. That was that was a shitty feature. And honestly, like I think that me uh, went on a bit too much. And there was that whole por portion like around the midpoint before Cardi started doing the goofy low voiced flow. Where it was just like meandering and not going anywhere. Um, and it's a shame because the beat was awesome. The beat was fucking sick. The beat was great. It was a great beat. But um, yeah, that was kind of a mess. <laughs> All right, Del Resto, Echoes. Let's give this one a spin. I've already heard it, but, you know, we can hear it again. So many cool ideas on that track and so much lost potential. Honestly, honestly, honestly. You know, after that Travis verse, when Beyonce comes back in and you start hearing like the the heavier drums, like the bass drums in the background go doo -doo 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 -doo. like they're getting, you know, they're really kind of like building up momentum and they're throwing more rhythms in there. Then you kind of get that, that four count, that bam, bam, bam. And then the drums back off again. It's like, why? You're literally building it the fuck up. Like the whole thing is just one endless edging tension shit. And again, there's great ideas. There's great parts. Beyonce kills it during every passage and um, you know, really cool drums and vibe, but like, I just wish it kind of, you know, went fully on at some point, you know, it just kind of feels like it's a bridge to nowhere in a way. But uh, I, I've been, you know, looking forward to hearing what I know sounds like right after it. So I don't know. Let's hear it. And I know, I can be drunk. Cause I just any mini money roll a dice since I pick. And you've been fighting for your shot and you've been searching. Tell me is you still up? She feel it right. You right in some scooch you the way I left. What's there? In case you ain't heard. It's flooded enough since it's elite. I don't make it Tell me is you still up? It's 5 a.m. I like that track a lot. I mean I would like to 
kind of obviously listen to it more for the review, but also just kind of like eat up Travis's bars a bit more. Uh, but the grooves were great and entrancing and Travis's flows around the point, even liked, uh, you know, the melodic leads he was throwing in there. It was a good one. All right. Topia twins. Twin bitches. I'm a dog nigga. I make a mistake and short. Where I throw the shit in on his dick. I took the glizzy off. Nothing like my dad. I'm from New Orleans project. I think bitches get cold. A nigga do it for before you blink. Twin bitches, twin, twin drapes, ten bad bitches in the studio. That Amazon Prime give me two days. I bet he. I think another nigga do it for before. It's not electric. This she gassed up. Can you? Hey, twin, call her twin. Tell her I'm and she walking. Got his own surround sound. Yeah. Nice, nice. Like that one as well. Yeah, you know, nothing too weird or experimental about it. Just kind of just like a straightforward, trusty, well formed rap track. With a solid 21 verse. Not bad. Also, so far, you know, another good decision on this record, I'll say, is, it, you know, I, I know there's been Kanye production on the album. Obviously, Kanye production is on this record. This is the new black skinhead and, you know, the Kanye comparison, so on and so forth. But I'm, I'm glad Travis was really smart. Travis was really smart uh, to not have a Kanye feature on this. Really smart. Because you know he would have said something fucking stupid. He would have said something fucking stupid. He would have said something real fucking dumb. He would have said the dumbest fucking shit you've ever heard in your entire life and it would have been the worst feature here. He would have been like, oh my God, they're mad at me for Hitler. What? Like it would, it literally would have been fucking that. It literally would have been that. He would have, he would have had to shout out Hitler on the song. Travis would have been like, uh, I promised yay that I'd, I'd keep his verse on the record, but he shouted out Hitler five times. Uh, uh, I've heard about the yay over Biden line, but, but here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It doesn't totally make sense. It doesn't totally make sense because Travis was fine with Drake shitting on Kanye on sicko mode. So it's like, how could he have yay over Biden? You know, I mean, I, I, I guess like uh, maybe you could vote for yay over Biden in sort of like, you know, uh, uh, in, in, in sort of like, you know, a show of solidarity, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Like, you know, Kanye doesn't have ballot access. Uh, no, nobody's voting for Kanye for president. Uh, but you know, Travis did have Drake shit on Kanye on his biggest song, you know? So hearing years down the road that he has yay over Biden, you know, just kind of seems like, so what, you know? Like you, you had, you had Drake shitting on me on your biggest song ever. L take. How is it an L take? It's inconsistent. It's inconsistent is what I'm saying. It's, it's inconsistent. And nobody's even worried about whether you like Kanye more than Biden. It's, it's silly. It's silly. But you know, who's, you know, who's on this record rapping? It's Drake. You know, who's not on this record rapping? It's Kanye. Because even Travis knows if he had Kanye on this record rapping some shit, it would sound stupid. He would say something crazy. He would say something fucking insane. I can't be political. I, I, you want me to stop being political? Travis literally raps, I got yay over Biden on the record. Yeah, Biden isn't rapping either. Oh, shit. That's, that's who Travis should have had fucking rapping on the record. It's Biden. It's Biden. <laughs> Travis should have had Biden spitting on the album. <laughs> Soda! Yo, could you imagine if Biden came in on this record and just said, Soda! And fucking lose it. It'd be the best fucking feature on the entire album. Oh yeah, some black skinhead vibes, like you guys said. Every 
part of it is part of me. I'm waiting on a Okay. Nice. I'm a little on the fence with that track, honestly. Um, I feel like I need to listen to it more to have kind of a definitive opinion as to what about it was working or not working for me. I I don't don't want to tear it apart or nothing right now. Um, I just wasn't gaga for it. But I I definitely hear that black skinhead similarity. All right, let's give a listen to Parasail. I stand tall I fall Looking through a glass Watching by the bushes Where's the light through the Success comes so easy for I give myself Weary Was that Dave Chappelle? <laughs> a little overly dramatic uh, all right, let's uh, listen to Schizo. Baby, me, I'm moving night when they really get set up. Watch your hockey doors off the doors, but in the back, get all the trees. Do that, do that, do that. Bling, bling, I get a rest every three freshers in a man again. I'll get the face in the closet. Look how long she just did. Got a rose gold teeth and rose gold rims on my road. Can't see me, I ran it back last year. All right, all right, all right. I got the vision and I made that clear up from two. Can't stay away, find it hard work. But even Titanic got it ended. All right, I said you need me now. Stick to the code, I'm too exposed. I gotta keep curtains closed. Balance all these up and downs, but I keep popping no chrome hot. I cut some off, eyes I bet on myself. I was the broken, lose bros and lose open this I'm loyal, bitch, I got yay over by I let this me. I'm for real. Hold on a second. That track's a ripoff. Nothing but a disgusting, totally unabashed ripoff. Yeah, it was. That track was a ripoff. You know what that track ripped off? You know what that song ripped off? You know what that song was a ripoff of? 